When the city of London was laid out in 1825 and 1826, the 31-acre plat called for a main street that was somewhere around 65 or 66 feet wide, which it still is today. Coming off of Main Street were a number of side streets that were called alleys. There were two streets that came off of Main Street that were quite a bit wider than the alleys that came off of Main Street. Those two were East 4th Street and West 5th Street. All too soon, those streets would become known as Manchester Road, which is East 4th, and Sublimity Road, which was West 5th. Now, Sublimity Road was not so named back in those days because it took you to the community that we now know of as Sublimity. It was so named as Sublimity Road because it would take you to Sublimity Springs on the Rock Castle River. Just doing a quick video today. There are lots of people who can't get out and enjoy nature or take road trips into the forest, into remote areas of Laurel County. So I wanted to do a little video today of an area that a lot of people visit, and that is uh, an area along the, uh, the river in the western areas of Laurel County that used to be known as Sublimity Springs in 1942. L.B. McHarg placed a marker right here on the edge of the river for Sublimity Springs. B. Rock across the river he placed this marker as a part of the Kentucky sesquicentennial celebration, which was in 1942. He placed, this is one of 20 markers he placed across the county, and he placed this right here at the old Sublimity Bridge, which was constructed in 1942 by the CCC. The old Sublimity Bridge, which was the uh, the first bridge across the river. It's a single lane bridge and still stands today as a testament to times gone by. Sublimity Springs, which was a resort here on the Rock Castle, was constructed in the 1850s and it sat on the Pulaski County side over in that direction. Before this bridge was built, the only way to get to Sublimity Springs was by ferry, which used to cross over uh, a little upriver from where this bridge is constructed. Water's down quite a bit too right now, as you can tell. I'm going to do a video sometime about uh, in the 19, 1900 horses and buggy days, uh, how they got to the Sublimity Springs Resort in the 1800s. Where was the road? How did you get here? When automobiles came to be, how did the automobiles get here? When this bridge was built in the 1940s, where was the road? Well, we know where the road is today. It comes in off of uh, 192, which is back up that way. But that was not the original road in here. The original road came from that direction. There are old maps that show it. And on a future video, I'm going to uh, to address that very issue. How did you drive to the Sublimity Springs and the old Sublimity Bridge? The reason why, it's a given, if you've ever driven 192 all the way to Pulaski County, those big huge cuts that go through the mountains were, uh, they pre, they, 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 this bridge predates those cuts. Was, uh, the type of equipment that would have been required to make those big cuts through those rock cliffs uh, didn't exist back in the 1800s. 
So you definitely did not approach this bridge from that direction. You approached this bridge from this direction. And there are maps out there that still show the old roadbed that makes its way through the woods and comes down this direction to the old Sublimity Bridge and to Sublimity Springs and, and Bee Rock. This bridge took quite a bit of damage during the flooding of February of 2019 and uh, there was a period of time when getting funding to repair it became a uh, major issue and uh, quite a bit of repairs were done to the bridge. Uh, just from here I see some braces on the first pylon. Those braces right there in the middle of the screen are new. And over there on the far end of the second pylon, you see some fairly new concrete that was poured. Uh, I'll go over there and get a closer shot of that new concrete that was poured on the second pylon. I did some video uh, back in 2019. There was timber across the top of this bridge where the water got up so high and it did quite a bit of damage to the old bridge, but thank goodness they were able to get the money to, to fix it. Now this place was seriously flooded in February of 2019. B-Rock. And the pylon where they poured some concrete some, is right here. They did some new concrete right there. It's a part of the bridge repairs. That's upriver. Back up toward uh, Cane Creek, other tributaries that uh, meet the Rock Castle upriver. And it's the Rock Castle on its way to the Cumberland. The uh, boat ramp is just down there. You can barely see it right there in the center of the screen. County, Pulaski County, this is so much history down in this area from the um, all through the 1800s, mid 18, even early 1800s. If you go down uh, down river about two and a half, three miles from here. The first resort that opened was called the uh, Rock Castle Springs. And the resort that was here was Sublimity Springs. There was a third resort called the Warner Hotel, which was back up in the Laurel County side uh, above Cane Creek and Van Hook Brand Branch. But uh, it's always a good place to take a drive enjoy the solitude and peace and quiet. The old Sublimity Bridge. If these hills could talk. There's a historic marker right here. Uh, a haven of rest in the mid-1800s resort hotels on the secluded Rock Castle River lured travelers with advertisements of medicinal springs, fine dining, lodging, and entertainment. Rock Castle Springs Resort advertised itself as a veritable Eden for the children 
a sanitarium for invalids, a paradise for lovers, and a haven of rest for the tired. Now this Rock Castle Springs was uh, down river uh, on the Pulaski County side, roughly across from the mouth of No Business Branch. Dirt roads led to the river. The clip-clop of horses' hooves and creaking wheels of stagecoaches were familiar sounds along dirt roads leading from the London train station to the front steps of the hotels. And this map is kind of significant. Right here is the, the old bridge, which is right there. And there's the old, uh, the old sublimity bridge which wasn't built until 42. Sublimity Springs Resort Hotel was across the river over in that direction and it didn't open until the 1850s. If you go up the stream, up the river to where Cane Creek empties into the Rock Castle, the Warner set up on a hill. That spot is still uh, very visible today. There's nothing to see other than just a flat land. And then down the river uh, probably two or three miles is the Rock Castle Springs Hotel right across from the mouth of No Business Branch. So this is the location on the Pulaski County side of that. And I don't know that I've ever seen any pictures of the uh, Sublimity Springs Resort which was across the way there. 75 cent bargain upon arrival. Guests enjoyed ballroom dancing, lawn bowling, and moonlight cruises with live music. They could also fish, swim, and hike. All for 75 cents a night. Here's a picture of the Warner Hotel, built entirely out of chestnut and provided overnight lodging for loggers and peddlers. And as I said, that was over uh, near where the uh, mouth of Cane Creek is that empties into the Rock Castle. A cure for heat and fever. Southerners seeking relief from summer's heat and the fevers of malaria mingle with local residents enjoying the day out to create the relaxed yet festive atmosphere for which the resort hotels were known. Healing powers today. The resorts have long since disappeared. Victims of changing tastes, fire, and the rising waters of Lake Cumberland. Today, you may still find healing powers in the weathered cliffs and peaceful forests that surround you if you choose to seek it. This lady sitting there reading a book at the Rock Castle Springs. Get out sometime, take a drive, enjoy the history of Laurel County. And in order to do that, sometimes you got to get a little off the beaten path.